Welcome to Apollo Digital Paging Company. Today we're going to be going over um, how to download the programming software for the Apollo VP200 pager uh, and we're going to go over just the brief uh, specs of the pager within the programming. Um, so let's get it started. First thing you're going to want to do is go into your internet browser, go to our website which is located at www.apollopagewireless.com from here you will see at the top of your screen you'll see a section that says support you're going to want to click on support at the very top of the page you see under customer support there is a uh, bunch of uh, bold dark blue links here you're going to want to look for a section that says programming software voice pagers two-tone serial and USB cradles click on that from here uh, you're going to see two different um, programmers for the VP200 programmer uh, and one you have the firmware and one you have the software so you want to down the, download the software VP200 version 1.39 software and it tells you the password here is AC5678 so we'll click on the .zip folder once that starts downloading you'll see it's downloading to the left after I just click that link we'll click on the software here and you'll see a setting here once it's been pulled up uh, for the setup.zip so we will go ahead and double click on that click on the setup.exe and it's going to say go into here and it says this will install the VP200 pager programmer do you wish to continue? we're going to say yes uh, just setting up going through the setup wizard here give it a username um, organization I just leave it alone at DPC um, here it tells you where you want a destination folder that you want to save it. I just leave this alone. It's going to save it in the program files. The gold Apollo folder will auto create it for you. Hit the next button. It tells you in the start menu folder where you want to put it. I'll just leave it alone at gold Apollo. Click install. Very fast installation. Click finish once it's been completed. I could close out of these windows. Close out of the Internet Explorer. Go to the start menu. All programs and we will go under gold Apollo folder and scroll down to VP200 pager programmer so we click on that here it's gonna ask you for a password this is where we're gonna want to input that password it was, as we said which is A as in Alpha, C as in Charlie 5678 hit OK now we have the programmer pulled up so let me maximize this for you uh, I guess my, my screen is too big to maximize it, so we'll leave it alone here. So from here, very basic, uh, let's go over it. We have the serial setting, COM ports, which COM it's going to be detecting on. Currently, I don't have the programmer plugged into my computer, uh, but generally, uh, when you have your pager plugged in um, to the actual cradle and, the, and plugged into the USB to your computer, it will pick up the COM port that it is in. Um, you're generally going to want to go to this menu up here that's pager. You're going to want to read the pager. You could also read the pager by hitting the F3 hotkey on your keyboard. So make sure you want to read the pager first prior to making any changes. That way you know it is detecting the pager itself. So once you re read the actual pager, it will provide you with a serial number. Um, this has the tone system standard uh, user plectron. Um, but let, let's just stay with the general stuff S general stuff here so um, we have our frequency this is for channel frequency 1 channel frequency 2 and then our advanced settings so um, frequency 1 you type in your frequency uh, let's just say 155, 7500 uh, we could tab over um, but you do not want to put any decimals in there so um, channel spacing you could set uh, we have all the way down to ultra low band um, um, channel spacing it to 2.5, 6.25, 12.5 and auto um, this is where you're gonna put in your tones you have your tone A, tone B or tone 1, tone 2 um, enabling them by just clicking on the check marks to the left or if you're using single tone uh, group calls you can go ahead and enable group calls here um, you could have priority alerts which ones you want to be priority as well um, this is for your switches if you want to have um, one of these on here you can play with your switches for your function switches so uh, you learn tone type 
Uh, you have standard, continuous, user, divine. Uh, play with any of those the way you want them. Um, and you, uh, this is for one frequency, so um, you could have vibrator on, alert frequency one, frequency two, call number one, different call tone. So uh, turn that on and off. So uh, you do the same thing for frequency two. Um, you could put in like this one is using a different uh, frequency, but uh, then you have the settings. You have privacy enable, disable power save, fix alert, uh, enable function announcement, um, enable priority scan with monitor, uh, your max volume levels, function with vibrate and alert, uh, using it as single channel, narrow band, your reset controls, uh, delay time, uh, squelch levels. Uh, a lot of people like playing with this. Enable squelch control record method. Uh, then you have your stored voice right here. Uh, record section. So VP200 has eight minutes of stored voice and you can record them at different sections. Generally a lot of people leave it at the 16 sec sections of 30 seconds each because most dispatchers hardly ever go over 30 seconds. But you know your dispatchers better than any of us so uh, if you got those ones that send long dispatches and you want to store the entire message uh, you could change it from here from 30 to 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, uh, four sections. So and you also have your function function switches again so um, priority scan F1, the F1 stands for frequency 1 obviously uh, select to call frequency 2 uh, you have different uh, versions here you have monitoring, selective call, normal scan, priority scan, silent scan uh, and how you want it to alert, do you want it with a tone vibrate, tone and vibrate um, etc etc so um, now we know we've, we've we've seen that a lot of people when they're entering in their tones here um, um, have some actual issues with it matching up with their system and their tones. Um, a lot of different systems are different, so um, this will auto change it. As as you notice, I just put in twelve eight five point seven. Um, you go to the tone system up here, change it to user, um, and it should be able to um, change it. So. Obviously, it wasn't a valid tone, um, so user wasn't able to clear it up. But um, as long as you have valid valid tones uh, and you have any issues with matching the tones, because it does auto pick up uh, for your frequencies, um, try checking the user section here and then try changing your tones. But uh, any questions at all, um, just let us know. Uh, once you're completed and and you put in all your channel frequencies, you put in all your tones that you wanted to be in, set your alert methods and uh, record methods the way you wanted to. Um, you're going to want to go to the top and pager right. That what that will do is start programming the actual pager um, and um, it'll give you a completion saying it has been completed. You could take it off the cradle and then uh, start testing it. So. Uh, very basic, easy to use. Uh, any questions, uh, let us know. You could visit us online at www.apollopagers.com. Give us a call for any technical issues at 800-540-5700 or email us at tech at apollowireless.com. Uh, we'll be able to go over all your concerns regarding the programming or if you need any more advanced tutorials. So um, We value and appreciate your business and uh, hope all is well.